Only not the only team that played here this weekend, and one team's already made it to the championship, and that would be Scales Mound. And they're having one heck of a season and making some memories along the way. For one of those players, it's even more special. That would be Devin Slavenberg. He is a foreign exchange student from the Netherlands. He's only been playing basketball for a couple of years, coming from a town of more than 300,000 to a very small town and community of Scales Mound. It was such a culture shock for him, he said. But he has embraced the community, and they have embraced him as well. And he's playing some great basketball. He's even been an equalizer on the court in the state semi. It was a huge culture shock. The first time I got here, I was confused about how small it was, but how close the community is and how much they're family to, to each other, actually. I loved it. I, I was in there. I was hyped up before I got in there, and I was it was amazing. I always be looking back when I was here, and I always it will always put a smile on my face because of the things I've experienced here. It's great. Just a great young man, Devin is, and currently Moline is leading. 36-27. Scales Mount will play for that championship game tomorrow at 11 a.m. against Waterloo Jabot. Now coming up tonight at 10, we'll have complete coverage of the Moline State semifinal game against Downers Grove North. We'll hear from the Maroons, hopefully some victorious Maroons, as well as have some more on Scales Mount. It's a score Friday night, the last score of the year for us, so we're really excited. But for now, from Champaign, live in Champaign from the State Farm Center, Corey Coupler, WQAD News 8 Sports.